hello guys welcome back to my channel thank you for always stopping by liking commenting and subscribing for the new ones don't forget to like comment subscribe turn on notification bell so that you'll be notified when i drop updates on Rada mohan stay tuned on today's episode Rada asks mohan what happened mohan says today he lost his friend because damini decided to leave the house gungun says this is the end of their problems as damini is leaving the house ketki says they can live peacefully now mohan glares at them Rada thinks Damini won't accept the fate easily and hope Damini really leaves the house. Mohan tells Kadambari he closed all the doors of the past and he's ready to accept the future. Tusi tells Mohan to confess his feelings to Rada. Mohan tells Rada she wanted answers that she would get it tomorrow. Kadambari thinks now she can't tell Mohan that she suspects Damini in Tusi's death. She decides to tell the truth at the right time. Mohan asks her to prepare everything for Tej function and goes inside. Ketki tells Rada that Mohan who confess his feelings to her. Rada gets shy and goes inside. Kadambari takes the Juvedi men with her to prepare for Tej function. Rada recalls the moment she shared with Mohan and smiles, recalling how Mohan said she's his wife in front of the office employees. She thinks she never thought she would witness a day Mohan tells him loves her. She says she waited a lot for this day. Google notices the letter box and decides to, leave, to read the letters alone. Tusi says she also wants to know what's written in these letters and asks Google to read the letters with Rada. Mugun is about to read later, but Rada snatches the letter from her and asks how she can read letters without her. Mugun says she thought Rada forgot her. Rada asks how that is possible. She says no one is important for her than Gungun. She asks her to eat first, then they can read the letters. Gungun goes inside to eat. Tosi says she would read the letters first. She's about to take the letters, but stops hearing Mohan's voice. Mohan talks to Tosi's photo and asks if she's fine. He tells he hated her from the time she left him and blamed her for his pain. He tells he hated her but he remembered their memories because she is the important part of his life. That he came to get Tusi's permission to start his new life and he never thought he would fall for someone again. But he loves Rada and Rada also loves him. That his normal life became a special one because of Rada and he wants to live with Rada. Kaveri tells Dami that everything got ruined and she thought Dami would get married to Mohan and become the queen of the Trivedi house. But everything is over. Dami tells tomorrow she would snatch all the colors from Rada's life. Mohan tells Tusi he's going to confess his feelings to Rada tomorrow and he came to get her permission for that because he's going to give her place to Rada. He hopes Tusi doesn't have any objection. Tusi tells him that she would not have left him if it was in her hands then but now. She is not with him and Rada is with him. And Rada loves him so much that she knows Mohan won't get a better life partner than Rada. So she's giving him permission. She asks him to forget her and begin his new life with Rada. He tells it would have been good if there is a way to know her answer. She notices Tosi plans and puts Tosi leave on Mohan's hand. Mohan sees the Tosi leave and recalls how he proposed to Tosi and how he married her. He assumes Tosi give permission to him and thanks her. Kaveri and Damini sees everything. Kaveri asks Damini why she said Rada would wear white sari. Damini tells her two sees with them. Kaveri asks her what's her plan. Damini tells her everything about the letters. Kaveri says this plan will fail if two see or rather read loose letters then. Damini tells it won't affect her plan and Gungun will do what she wants to do because it's about two see. But this time Rada and two see can't ruin her plan. She calls two see's brother and asks if Namrata is coming tomorrow. He tells her that Ta Namrata is packing gifts for Rada. She tells him that they are going to give unforgettable gifts to Rada and disconnect the call. Rada feeds Gungun. Gungun says it's time to read Tusi's letters. Tusi is glad they did not read the letters without her. Mohan comes in and says he wants to talk to Rada. To her. Rada misunderstands Mohan wants to confess his feelings now. So she tells him she's busy. He tells him he wants to talk to Gungun and tells something in Gungun's ears. Gungun tells Rada to go with Mohan that they can read the letters tomorrow. Mohan takes Rada from there. Mohan tells Rada they became parents before becoming husband and wife. Rada tells him their relationship started because of Gungun. He says Gungun fulfilled the responsibility of a daughter and he has to fulfill the responsibility of a husband. He requests her to sleep and let him sleep. She gets confused hearing him. He tells her tomorrow is stage festival so she needs to sleep on time. They do feel pillow fight and laugh. She pretends she's sleeping. He tells her to wait for tomorrow. She thinks she can wait for her whole life. 
Mohan stares at Radha who is sleeping and recalls the moment he shared with her. He tries to kiss her but stop and asks her to wait till tomorrow to know what he feels for her. That they would become one and he places a kiss on her head and falls asleep. Radha opens her eyes and touches the place where Mohan kissed her. She smiles and stares at Mohan. On the other hand, Tusi says she wants to know what's written in the letters. Mohan tells herself she can't sleep without reading the letters. She decides to read the letters alone. She reads the letters which state Tusi loves Gungun so much. Tusi assumes Namrata wrote these letters to keep Gungun happy. Gungun reads all the letters and gets shocked. She screams Radha can't do this and everything is a lie. Tusi asks what's written about Radha and why is Gungun crying. Gungun puts the letters in the box and hugs the box and falls asleep. Tusi says she can't take the box and asks God to not give new problem to Radha and Mohan because they are going to start their new life only. She notices Gungun slept and takes the bus. She reads the letters and says she did not write this. The Namrata would not have written it too. That she is sure Damni is behind these letters. She wonders how these letters reached her house. The next day Radha does puja with her other ladies. Gungun wakes up and asks why Radha did this with Tusi. Tusi tells her that she did not write those letters. She asks her to not believe those letters. Tusi decides to tell everyone about the letters and leaves her room. Tusi tries to stop Gungun but fails. One of the ladies says Radha made beautiful idols. Kadambari praises Radha. Mohan tells her that Radha did all this last year too. He reveals Radha even kept fast last year. She gets shocked hearing him. He tells her Radha is really cunning. She tells him that she was not aware of it. Tusi tells Gungun to talk to Radha. Gungun wonders whom she would talk to about those letters and tries to talk to Vishwanath about the letters. He tells her to get ready first and leaves from there. She tries to talk to Ajit. He tells him he's busy and leaves from there. Tusi tells Gungun to talk to Radha first. Damni and Kaveri sees everything. Damni tells Kaveri that now Radha would wear white sari because of this plan. Kaveri tells this plan will work for sure. Damni says they have to finish their work. Ketki wants her to not even dream to do something.